Instagram. And you're going rattled and sort of red <laughs> and sort of like <laughs> you trying to get angry you at me. You trying to be like, how can I get <laughs> Joe? How can I get Joe rattled? Because I don't know how to Let's take it outside then. <laughs> <laughs> Hi you lot, welcome back to Waffling. Here we are once again. We've been blown to shit this week, right? Some of you, <laughs> you have. have had tr- <laughs> <laughs> I didn't it. think about that, did you? I didn't think about that. <laughs> but listen, our fences have gone down, our trampolines have gone down, right? But still, we are standing. Now, I believe there's a few YouTubers or people that had damages. Was it Jeremy Lynch? Oh, Jeremy Lynch's shed got absolutely clarted. We've got a video of it. Pull it up right now. I'm sure I can find one, yeah. Hey, did you see some of the videos that were circulating? No, there was like a bin, which was like, it must have been like oh, no, 100 no. foot in the air, just flying around. Oh, I've got some news about that one. What? what? Yeah, the bin's fake. What? Bin's fake? Every time there's a storm in the UK, like that comes out, it's like a meme. Well, like a wheelie bin. It's like a, if someone's Photoshop, there's like wheelie bin flying. Oh, hey, it's, going, it's hurtling through the but sky. Every time there's a storm, it just resurfaces oh. the same video. See, I've also seen um, there was cats. Oh, no. Cats I flying about. I don't I know if there's feel, a video, I but there's, mate, sorry. there's all sorts. And, mate, the uh, flew off. Yeah, we've got that. Like, pull it up right now. Obviously, I don't know how how many people died. Three, was it? There was a handful of folks well, from did. the cathedral fall. No, no, people no, have no. died in this winds. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a there was a handful of. Did people. you see the Luton? Um, they were building no in Leeds. They were building a flood defence system, mm. and the water swept away the flood defence. <laughs> <system. Whoa. laughs> but that's the thing. This country, it's like ironic. irony. Obviously, other countries. Like, obviously, I'm going to Norway this week, and I was researching about. Like, I was like, well, hang about. It's snowing to shit there. Sure, how can you drive about? But like other countries are so well equi- equipped for weather, you yet anything run. happens in the UK and it goes to shit. Yeah, mate, and it's like you think of like those times that we have like an inch of snow, country shuts down. You see like people living in Canada, they'll be like driving on roads that have like seventeen yeah. mate, feet. I was high telling Luke, I was telling Luke just before we started. Um, so you know Lachlan, he was is he a YouTuber? Yeah, he okay. was. So he was leaving Valterrenz yesterday, and to get out of Valterrenz, you have to go down like a windy, like snowy path. And there'd been a blizzard the night before, so it was like really bad. You know, in the UK, if there's snow, like everything stands still. Yeah. So there's an to clear the snow, they had to blow up bombs. What? To cause avalanches to just move it out of the way. So there was <laughs> ten That's cars. Sick. So, so like ten cars in front of us, bombs coming so off. In Switzerland, <laughs> their like weather defense system is <laughs> bombs. bombs. And France, yeah. Mate, but bear in mind, it was it was held up for twenty minutes. Uh, it, was a tw- uh, it was a twenty minute delay to his journey. Because they were blowing up bombs to cause an avalanche. <laughs> See, that's a mad thing. That is a completely mad thing. In other news, obviously, we had Hasbulla on last week. And I believe we've had a lot of comments, right, regarding how we were and how everything went. Now, and it was great. It was, it was. It, it, a lot of positive stuff. Like, obviously, you know, it was huge. No one was expecting it. But I believe, Malfoy, there are some things that have wound you up. Well, I just, you know, I thought I'd, I'm on holiday. I'm going to check out the comments. This is a really good episode. We all did really well in it. Yeah, and I, I want to stress, because also after the episode, we were all like, well, at least you didn't freeze this time. Yeah, at least you spoke. We were like, oh, yeah, Malfoy was chit-chatting. Yeah. He was in it. Yeah. Did Tom cut it all out? I, I don't, don't I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what Tom has done. The comments, I went on to see, you know, I oh, can't wait to see all these positive comments. Yeah. The first one I saw was, oh, it says, um, how have you lot managed this? Hasbulla makes Theo look like a right beta. Right? Does he though? Because da- like, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, right? He did actually like throw me off a bit because you know, like you didn't know what he was gonna do. Yeah, and it, Mate, do- you went silent. And I had to jump in and carry oh, the conversation. So this is the you. thing: you saved it. I literally saved it, and the comments are like, "Joe carried this. <laughs> he did really well to keep the conversation going. <laughs> Can't believe you managed to get the legend on. Big respect to you all." <laughs> what can I say? Theo looks like he was about to cry multiple times. Boy seems shocked by Hasbulla's alpha energy. He did have alpha energy, though. And I think that was, that's what was so, like, almost like pr- I was proud to see. The guy runs the room. He's the smallest kid in that room. There was about, like, ten men in there. And he was the biggest one in terms of, like, aura. Yeah. And I just think that's so... He didn't give a it fuck. just proves that, like, size, lads, in all, in all ways, <laughs> it is nothing. It is the energy you are putting out. You keep telling us something from the heart, that. That is. Theo going at Joe after the FaceTime. As if Theo didn't just sit there quiet, scared to talk to an 18-year-old. Joe, <laughs> Joe smashed it. Joe smashed it. I'm great at Mate, talking to 18-year-olds. I year genuinely olds. thought... What is this, Ham? I am not. I was... What? No, I'm joking. You know. Mate, I, I legit thought, when I saw these comments, I thought, oh, Joe or Luke, they've put something on their story to, like, you know, make a joke at me. And I checked your stories. There was nothing there. No. And I was like, 
What's happened here is you two have done a group presentation and Well has just stuck his name on it. What? And he's getting all the credit for it. Yeah. Okay. I, 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 I've what I don't about, I, how has Tom edited this? Is it Tom's <laughs> editing? Like, what's the deal here? Because I... I didn't. I didn't say anything. Luke didn't got, say a fucking word. Do you I ever got, get shot on by the audience? I got no stick, which I appreciate, but I don't appreciate giving it to Malfoy when he's actually done nothing wrong. Right. He showed up on the. You know, it's not often he comes. He to did. Work. He showed up. I did more than that. So amazing. Well, it's just it's just Joe did great in this, carried himself really well and asking good questions to keep the interview going. Yet again, another interview showing how Theo is so far from being an alpha, asking questions under his breath and being asked <laughs> <laughs> and being asked to repeat himself. No, no. Me, I had to repeat myself because the only fucking microphone that was working was on Joe's phone and I'm sitting on the opposite side of the table. There's no need to make things up now, mate. Like, <laughs> I mean, it rattled me so bad. It actually ruined my hour. Yeah. Like, no. It really ruined my night. And I was like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm not reading comments. Yeah. So I went into such a positive attitude. I was like, I'm going to look at these. They're going to be great. I did so well this episode. No. And this bastard didn't say a word. Yeah, I know. I don't, I don't know why I didn't get any stick. I well, I don't no. think you ever do. I think I think it's because, like, do you know what people love? And let me know what you think about this, everyone. Um, when people put like bite on mm. on on ends on being like triggered, when you someone gets triggered, it's almost really like you want to push it more because it's entertaining. Yeah. And what it is more than anything, Malfoy, is they are inadvertently saying you are a really entertaining guy. So that's why they're they're always putting coins into the machine to make you perform. <laughs> like the puppet, I yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's like one of those statues that is still unless he's put Poop. a coin or put a coin in it to come on perform, and then you like a performing then, monkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that's just all it is. When really they they love you. The thing is though, like what I, I could just sit there and just take it and not say anything, and then yeah. I'd just be quiet. And the thing is, I think now it is always going to be oh, a so running that. joke that like. Ever since the HS Tiki Toki episode, like you're not you're not gonna shake that off. Yeah, it's, it's over the, the thing was with Hasbulla as well. So I've been chatting with him. <laughs> 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 no, I have. Basically, he's in Dubai. They mentioned it on the pod. Chat to his no, no, no. <laughs> I'm talking to him. I got his phone number. Right, he is in Dubai in March, and he wants to do a WWE vid with the well sniper rifle. I'm ready. So what? we're ready. So I'm gonna go there, what? and I want to I want to do a gym vid with him. And a WWE vid. Who can bench press the mic? <laughs> it's just a video of you no. making yourself feel better. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, listen. I had this idea. We both have to bench. It's like when I went against Akin Fenwar in the video, right? Banged. What's that? You have to lift your body weight. So whatever his body weight is, <laughs> he has to bench press that. And I have to bench press my it, body is weight. Is there like a calculation you can do like weight to body weight? What? Is it like a cat? Yeah, it's just the same as your body. Stand right? on the scale. No, as in, as in, like, for example, if you did like a bicep curl, yep. what is your 15 kg equivalent to his? Like, what's the, do you see what I'm saying? No, just curl 82 kg. 82. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, 41s in each hand. What? You can't, you can't bicep curl 41 kg. You can't. That's not, that doesn't mean I can't. <laughs> you can't. So what WWE moves would you do with him? Oh, uh, all of them. He could do, you know, like Hornswoggle. Get him up now, Hornswoggle, right? He could do what Hornswoggle does and I could be Finley. Or, <laughs> <laughs> or, Shameless. Um, do you know what I mean? Like, although, yeah, we could do, we could do so much, mate. If that video would break the internet. He WWE could, moves. He could be Rey Mysterio. Or no. We could but do. He is little as he well. He is a little man. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that video would bang Wait, so and Lil Jim vid. And you don't need cameramen? Because you're going to want multiple angles. Well, yeah, but as you know, are you up for? Because obviously, I don't know if you guys will want paying. I was going to get actually Tom Tom the editor. Oh, I'm actually, fuck I, no, Tom. I'm, I'm, what, do you, what, no, you, you, you want to come? I'm busy in March, actually. Yeah? Yeah, man, I'm really busy. Okay. Um, okay, Lou, Lou, you can come. All right. Okay, so yeah, so no, we'll no, do that. No, but I actually, <laughs> it actually sprung this idea of me. I actually think... Um, It'll be good to activate gym challenge videos against other YouTubers. <laughs> true, oh, Jordan, yeah. true Jordy. Oh. Imagine, imagine. So I did, I did the Akin Fenwa video back in the day. It's on like 12 point something mil and it re did really well. Um, and I just think like that, the, com the competition element, but also like it, it was actually quite constructive. Like, we weren't like being dicks to each other. It was like I filmed supporting. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were there. Think and, and I think if imagine like doing it against True Jordy, doing it against Bazinga. Doing it against like whoever wants it, I think it'd be fucking sick. Yeah, but if you lose, it's not going to do well for sales of your fitness. Well, it doesn't band. matter. It's like, but it's not about just, like who can lift the heaviest or whatever. It's literally about like, well, I mean, yeah, it's, 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 it's about percentages. It's about percentages. But no, but it's in like I don't know. I wouldn't want it to be. It's, 
I don't know. I, w- I wouldn't want it to be about like, oh, there's, you know, you're a fucking cunt loser if you don't, <laughs> no, if, if, you, if you don't loot, if you don't live something. But more of just like, it's almost like an all round fucking gassed thing because we're all like, it's you just want to prove yourself against other gym people. We're not proving myself. I like go. go I've got d- nothing to prove. It's more of just like it's a, the it, entertainment factor. Yeah, in of terms of like a, 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 a 2022 Joe Weller video that would on YouTube that I'd be gassed making is that. Yeah, yeah. Do you get me? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's just a concept that I think could do quite well. You could do like a CrossFit version as well. I mean, I could do. I don't really train CrossFit, but well, yeah. easy enough to add a bit of cardio to your workouts. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I don't really know what it is. Yeah, is it? I, they get quite hard. All I see is they get quite a hard time on like Instagram. Like it's because they're weird. Weird. Their, te- their techniques are weird. Pull ups, isn't it? Yeah. Well, one of our friends just came second in a CrossFit competition. Saw so Yeah, he just did. He smashed it. Yeah, I thought that He's was good pretty lad. Mad. Now, guys, we have a quick message from our friends at Beer Fifty Two who want to give you. A free crate of beer, right? All you have to do is pay the postage of five pounds ninety-five, and you can get some beautiful craft from Sweden, Norway, Croatia. Where's this? Copenhagen, right? And Malfoy, firsthand, you have tried this stuff. Yeah. How is it, mate? When I tell you these beers are some of the best I've ever had from all over the world, and not only that, they're different types of beers, so you don't get bored drinking the same beer over and over again. Yeah. And mate, for five ninety-five, I'm sorry if you're a student. That's the problem I have as well. I get bored of drinking the same shit from the shop. Yeah, true. Well, obviously you can claim yours as well, boys. We all can. It's just going to beer52.com slash waffling. Right, that is beer52.com slash waffling for a free crate of a bespoke, delicious beer. Just five ninety five postage. Now... And you get some snacks with it. Oh, you actually do. You Back do. on with the show. He's going to be, he's joined the army, so he's going to be off to yeah, war mate, I was, soon. I, I was speaking to some army dons out in Val Terrend, World War Three is happening, surely. Yeah, they, they were like, I was, they, they, they had a bit of strong opinions on a few things, which I won't repeat. But um, they were saying, yeah, man, like, fuck this, like, fuck Bojo, like, he's going to send us to Ukraine for 28 quid an hour. What, so that so so the UK army are against being sent, but is that regardless? If I you're think, in the I army, think, do you, it is a case I of, think, like, you do what you're told. I think it's more of a case of, job. yeah, like... Essentially, yeah, you're, you're at the service of the British Army. You can go to prison. Like, if, you, if you're in the army and you refuse, you'll go to prison. That's really? Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's what, even like if you if you leave early, yeah, you get, you get like done. What? So, sure, you can just resign, though. Well, I sure guess, yeah, but then you, then you no, lose your pension. I, yeah, and no, stuff, it's I guess. not as easy as just resigning. Really? You can't just be like, I quit. Well, are you sure about this? We're not about I'm, to get done for like uneducated. Like, I, am a, I am 97% <laughs> sure. That you just can't, you can't just be like, nah, don't fancy it anymore, lads. I'm well, say, say if, right, if this is all legitimate, right, and we are about to go to World War Three. Oh, good. <laughs> so <laughs> you have all of us at home, like what? We're last about <coughs> 10 minutes before the whole world's blown up? Because well, if it turns to that, I mean, Putin has come out and said, Putin, Putin, <laughs> Putin right? Oh, he's, he's coming for us now. He's come out and said, right, a world without Russia... Is not worth existing anyway. So he's like, if Russia goes down, he's the whole world's oh, going out. Hell. He's literally said that. Yeah, no, and do you know, like, he's, and they got nukes. He's like, also said in a, in a press conference that he did with like the the French geezer, uh, like he openly said, like we have one of the biggest like nuclear arsenals in the world, and like obviously I don't want to use them, but believe me, I will. Yeah. Wait, so you're telling me Putin, who's just been <laughs> loves <laughs> poo, <laughs> he does love poo, but like it sounds like he's going a bit crazy. Nah, well, he always he has been. Has. They all are, mate. Well, you know how, like... What? I can't compare the two, but, like, at the start of Hitler's thing, he was, like, a normal politician, wasn't he? Well, was he? With a few batshit no, ideas. No, he had, like, extreme views yeah, still, but, but he, he got but people on board. He got people on board, but he went through the normal politician route. Yeah, but... Putin, yeah. is like, how long has he been in charge of Russia? Oh, me, he's, like, he's just a dictator. He goes yeah, from, he like, being president to prime minister to prime... But he's always in charge. He's always there, isn't he? Putin. But I did find, <laughs> I did find a lot of the memes funny. Oh, guy <laughs> around um, uh, the David Twitter. <laughs> can we Can we put it up? Yeah? Have you got any? I mean, are they in the chat, right? Well, so, I, I saw a funny tweet, which was... Uh, shout out to their it, families. It was from a girl. Just so we're clear, I'm all for women's rights, but if World War Three starts, I'm just letting you all know I belong in the kitchen. Which I think is pretty fair. <laughs> I wouldn't want to go. We got surely it, it is equal though in terms of like because what does is there a chance right everybody that regular people so that haven't signed up to the army could be told you've got to go represent our country. Mate, I yeah. honestly think there is no chance of World War Three happening. 
Why? I know it's a bit. I don't, I don't know, man. Because it just like Bro. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. But um, you know, it's 2022. Like, surely yes. we've got to a point in civilization yeah, where. Well, there's still racism, there's still slavery, there's still all these awful things. I know we like to think, oh, yeah, we've come so far. Mm. Mate, it's, it's worse but than ever. And let's, let's not act like war isn't going on the whole time. Yeah, yeah. true, true, Just true, true. true. Westerns are not currently in, like, oh, we can see it all around us. It's happening but around the world all the time. They always say, though, don't they? Like, World War Three, if it does come, it'll be like a cyber war rather than a physical what, war. What? Just like, oh, tweeting your enemy. You like, fucking cyber can. attacks. Like, like, as in, like, a cyber attack could, like, take down, like, the electricity of a country. And oh, then like, we've been EMP'd. Yeah, literally. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like you'd be fucked. Do you know what I mean? But the, 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 the Donnie, was, sorry, going back to that guy, he was like, the reason why he was angry because he said 28 quid an hour to go to war. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a mad thing, isn't it? As like, it doesn't seem, doesn't seem right. I feel like would, would you, would you do it for 28 pound now? Go to a war. Yeah. 28 quid now. But in, in theory, right, do, and this is, have these people signed up to the army wanting to eventually go towards you know like well, you wouldn't you wouldn't sign up to like work at McDonald's to like expect to never cook the burger he did say something was a bit was a was a bit haunting he was like oh yeah our squad is like we only like two things in the in life we only know two things in life we only like two like. things in life killing and drinking and i was like right <laughs> <laughs> okay. Killing, but and I but pre- previous to that, I'd accidentally called him like a little pussy. No, I called him bleep this. Time. I called him. Don't bleep it. <laughs> no, don't fucking bleep it. <laughs> but I, it was joke. You but, was what? Why'd you call? Because he was a, he was a bit like in, in your face. He's a bit rude in your face. Oh, so you were like you fucking. <laughs> what, what? Yes. We caught, and then he's like, oh, and he was like, listen, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, <laughs> then he was like, yeah, I'm a squad. I was like, <laughs> and he banter. I turn around, there's like another 30 of these squad. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> just like, ate my words, basically. Did you go red? Were you scared of him? Were you, oh, were you scared? No, no, I wasn't scared. Oh, you weren't scared? No, because like, he's, he could probably kill me in a heartbeat. Yeah. But like, I, I managed to play it off like, ha ha ha, banter, banter. Like, obviously, he was. Like, but for representing the UK and going to war. No, he started going. Um, it, I know you. I know you. Are you, uh, are you Joe? Are you <laughs> Theo Walcott? Like, what Theo Walcott. You doing? He started calling me like Theo <laughs> Walcott. Like no, that? I started calling me like Theo Walcott. And I was like, mate, he's thirty six. <laughs> I'm twenty five. Wow. And then I had a few drinks, and then like we just got chatting, and then I just I mean, you started kissing. <laughs> One thing what? led to another. <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, and then and he turned out to be a really nice bloke. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, Cal's there to like, you know, keep the conversation flowing. <laughs> he was a really nice guy, honestly. Well, always, yeah. I put something out on Instagram. Earlier. Yeah, horror dates. Obviously, we touched horror dates. Yeah, you know, like I was on a date yesterday. I know. Do you want to tell Who us? With? Can you tell us what the how the date went? And you did. know. And then we'll talk about I some of these I was just doing some stories. content. What year was she born? 86. <laughs> Listen, I was doing 86. some... 86? Your mum? <laughs> no, Lizard. <laughs> um, Trumbles. I was doing some content for Cineworld, brand new. But I took... I, I was with my... Date. Girlfriend. What? No, I've You been, are in love. No. Nah. Mate, you're in love. Scuba. <laughs> I was literally just like... You know, we went there, went Crawley, Crawley, Cine World, and it actually turned into a bit of a shutdown. There's quite a lot of uh, waffling mafia, and we had to relocate. Did that impress your girlfriend? It was quite funny, but it wasn't like an impressive was thing. Was she like, ooh, what's going on? No. Oh. Does your one get excited? No. Does your one hate it? How does your one deal with your fame? I mean, I don't shut down Cine World. Really? You could do. Yeah, I could do, right? No, no, it's just like, it is what it is. Like, it can, sometimes it can be a bit um, wrong timing. Do you know what I mean? Did, did you ever get like, oh, Theo, make it stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, did your girlfriend do that? No. Does did she? Because did you, <laughs> you do love her. Wait, you haven't stopped talking about her for the last 24 hours? Well, because what it is, is it's, it's turning into a beep, 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 beep. It's his birthday next week, and we wanted to go out with you. And you're like, oh, oh yeah. I'm with, uh, I'm with Bernie. No, Mate, no. you literally On my actual us. birthday, 
I wanted to go to London and have a chill. I'm not drinking. I'm, I don't want to go, go out and get fucked. That's what it is. I'd rather go for a nice meal. So if you want to come for a nice meal, you Mate, can do we that. we wanted to go for a game of golf or something. No, you didn't say <laughs> that. You didn't say that. We were like, should we just go for well, a well, We well, can do something. You just said head into Brighton. No, we get bowling. I don't want to get pissed. I just no, we like, don't. We don't. Have you lot will get fucking wankered, and it would just be a case. Of, you, know, you know, like whenever we always go out on the Christmas meal, and then it gets to ten o'clock, and everyone's on going home now. Yeah. Oh, sorry. And it's so I, I just don't really want. I didn't go home. So you well, just want like nice, nice dinner and cuddles with your girlfriend. Look, like, <laughs> we'll see. Anyways, um, it was actually quite funny as well. Like the Cine World thing is it going to be a good story? I arrived and I said, went up to like a worker and I was like, oh yeah, like I'm here to film some content with Cineworld. Um, <laughs> I believe you guys have been briefed. And they, she was literally like, no, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, so like, she's going to kick me out. Like, so I was lying. <laughs> like, it's fake, like, and I had to sit there and convince her like, no, I am here working. Like, <laughs> so imagine if you had no idea. What is going on? This random guy comes up to you, goes, "I'm here to film content." <laughs> <laughs> I literally, I felt like a fuck. Okay, yes, I <laughs> fuck off. I literally felt like a twat. <laughs> no, like, this is me. Oh, but it's really disrespectful. Like, right. even if I was just a customer, like, it was just really rude. And he goes, "You like it?" Um, <laughs> so you spoke to the manager. Yeah, I did. Did you? You asked for the manager. <laughs> well, I was like, I need someone. <laughs> I was like, I need, I need, um... Well, I'm going to have to speak to your supervisor then, I'm <laughs> afraid. No, because I was like, Karen, <laughs> No. <laughs> someone meme him with the hair. <laughs> Actual Karen. No, because I, I was really enjoying the, the experience of the cine world. It's Wait, amazing. Oh, and this and then, in front of a girlfriend, did it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. And they were like, is he for real? <laughs> <laughs> then she said that to him. Then you're like, watch this, darling. Oh, I need the supervisor. <laughs> Oh, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> Why didn't you just like call the person? Yeah, what? Battery exhausted on the wire. Um, Why didn't you just call someone like, I'm here? Well, because <laughs> no, I did eventually. Well, I didn't. I was told they were all briefed. Anyways, that's that. Um, One of our boys, I'll say it, but bleep it, uh, is on a thing with a new girl. Yep. Uh, and he thought it would be cool to take her out in his motor. He's got quite a nice car. Mm-hmm. Very nice. And he like, was speeding and he said to me he said i don't know why i did it like because i literally i don't do it he took you know grand avenue up where i know he never speeds ever yeah so he was like i don't know why i did it and he went too fast and like like almost lost complete control of the car and like he just said he felt so embarrassed like that he was like trying to impress this girl and he just almost lost control of his car that that comes that comes back to this thing of like i don't know if anyone's heard of the chimp paradox (laughs) right it's a book uh, Basically, we, we, he's brought, it. We, we brought it up we? before. Basically, it's where like we have the chimp, so like the instinctive like animal side of us, and then the human brain as well that's sort of like a bit more that sees the bigger picture and is like, mm, I don't need to do that, mm. right? So that's his chimp there, his the chimp part of his brain, just like the alpha thing, like needing to prove through like force and speed and like look how like impressive I am, and it's like, but but then the but then in back, yeah, no, and that's it. He literally said, he said like. Because when I spoke to him about it, it, it happened like a week before, and he said, "Mate, like, like at random points of the day, I'll think about it, and just, I get so embarrassed. <laughs> like, why, why did <laughs> no, I do I it? I hate <laughs> them moments. But then his 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 human brain came back into thing. Yeah. I was like, oh, what well, have it I will done? have learned from that now, and not oh, do the same mistake. Hopefully, like those mo- You know, in the moments that you just like you're on your one. Have you, you ever think- done? What's your most embarrassing thing that you've done to impress a girl, Theo? Like anything sexual, like try to say something sexual, like fucking th- fun thing or something. <laughs> like, have you ever said something or anything like that when you're trying to turn them on? No, I can't remember. No, I can't. I don't. I I can't remember anything off the top of my head. But I've definitely had those moments where, like, you think back at like a moment and you just cringe inside, like when you're just by yourself and you just go bright red. Because imagine, so you've never been. So you're laying there with your girl, right? You're laying there, right, right now. Imagine. And you're literally, <laughs> <laughs> you've never gone to do something like, and weighed it up in your head, like, is this a good idea? <laughs> Or is it like, am I going to make a fool of myself? <laughs> Wait, it sounds like you have. Sounds like you. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know. What have you done recently? Okay, so recently, right. <laughs> no, no. What I love is how you always try and like make someone else say something. It's like, <laughs> come on, you must have done it. It's like, no, mate, no, 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 no. Look, okay, I haven't actually done anything except exude confidence. But something that came as a result of exuding confidence was I gave a TV away and... I'd been using the only remaining duvet in my house on the sofa with my lady. 
and it was covered in all sorts. And guess what? The TV, the TV needed to be bubble wrapped to be transported, but we didn't have any bubble wrap. <laughs> oh, so you put it in a We only had the wheel. duvet. The spunky duvet. And we had to wrap it in the duvet. And did it go on the TV? I don't know. The rest is history, but basically. <laughs> so you wanted to tell us you gave away a spunky duvet. A TV a spunky wrap. TV. <laughs> so I don't know if it's going to have smears, but like, anyways. How oh. is how is um, your love life with your new girlfriend? Is it the best sex you've ever had? Do no, you no, connect no, into it? <laughs> the best sex. And then, like, is it more of like a because you actually get on on a level? Do you get that co- instant connection with her, which is obviously what you prefer? Okay, I'm going to be fucking real. He has a lot of instant connection. Yeah, so I know, know but yeah. I feel like this is different. We're all you know? different. No, look, we're all different in terms of like, okay, you can have initial connection. I can be in, initially inf- infatuated with with someone quite not easily, but like, I guess that's not an, anything. That's never happened before. Um, but there's an element of like when you're looking in someone's eyes and, <laughs> <laughs> and it just it hits different, mate. Okay, man. You ever like made love with someone and like to look in their eyes during it is not doesn't feel right. But then with with the right person it feels fucking incredible. And if anything, right, it actually makes you climax. Oh, yeah, no, because climate. the eye contact <laughs> has actually like gets you there more than anything else. Would you say that you are? <laughs> am, I, am I on my own? Hicks? No, 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 fucking embarrassing. I get you, man. I get you, man. All right, go. Would, would you say that when you really like someone, that's the quickest you spunk? I don't know. No, no, no. Because it may be like I, I, no, I get no. really horny, mate. Right, and it could be that like I'm already. 95% there through just my own, my own brain, right? <laughs> and then it comes to the action and boom. So not, not necessarily it's a measure of that, but granted, like like I do, yeah, I, I, I do, yeah, I, yeah. I feel, like you're in, I feel like you are falling right now. No. You're falling in love. Right, I've got a quick phone call. Wait, are you going to miss her when you go to Norway? Uh, What? Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> right, we'll be back in a sec. How are you lot? So our friends at Harry's, right? The experts in shaving want to give you a free trial pack, right? That comes with their expert razor, right? Shaving foam and shower gel. All right, perfect. All you have to do is cover the £3.95 in postage. It is phenomenal. Now, these guys really know what they're doing. And overall, save on cost, right? Their, their price is lower because they don't have any middlemen, right? They make everything in-house in Germany. And it's phenomenal. So next week... Theo and Luke are both going to be clean shaven well, as part of this to show how good it is. I don't know about that, but I, Theo I, said he would. I, I thought, think you I should. I will say this. I can tell you you used to Harry's razor recently because you're looking older, you're looking fresh, and you know what? The jawline Older? Looking, as in, like, you're looking mature. I look stunning. Yeah, and your jawline is looking strong. Come on. And that's thanks to Harry's. Yeah, there we go. I've tried actually shaving in the shower. Oh, right? really? It's something that they suggest is really therapeutic. Well, and I have it, to try it. Yeah, no, it was really lovely for me. So oh. go to harrys.com slash waffling to claim this offer. Right, just pay the £3.95 in postage. That is harrys.com slash waffling. All right, back on with the show. Now, guys, I actually have a question from a viewer. Okay. okay. So it goes McDonald's and chill. Ooh. What would that be? That's a new one. So it goes this. Not really a date as such, but when I was 16, I went to go meet this lad I'd gone to high school and was currently at college with. Oh, whom of. Yeah. We met in a small forest on a park (laughs) next to McDonald's and had sex on the floor. He let me lay on his Montclair jacket. (laughs) Anyway, after this encounter, he proceeded to walk to his Mackey's shift where he worked with his girlfriend who drove him home that night. I felt awful. And I know there was no excuse, but I know I'd never do something like that again. What a mare. Now... What he's asking, I mean, she's asking, is where is the most effed up place that you've made love? Well, first of all, she shouldn't, I don't think she should feel bad if yeah. she didn't know. Well, maybe okay, she Maybe know. naturally she'll feel bad. But have you, like, done it on the floor in Mackey's or anything like that? Because, like, Wait, was I've always, I've always, no, it was next to Mackey's on, like, by the, by the bins. But I've always <laughs> opted, right? Because people are like, oh, in yeah. In the middle of a forest. Right, have you done it in a car and all this stuff? And eventually, actually, I did do it in a car. But I've always opted to drive back to, like, a bed. Because, like, the floor of a <laughs> muddy floor. Isn't it the ground? Yeah, like, no, yeah, 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 yeah. So, in a forest. Like, have you ever opted to do that? or Never in a forest. No? But how about... 
What? I know for a fact you have done something in a forest. Whoa. What? <laughs> what do you? Well, like, excuse my French. Yeah. But you and your mates. My mates? You what? and your mate. Yeah. This is going to sound vulgar. Whoa. But you spit roasted someone in the forest. What the? <laughs> f- what? Well, that's what? bollocks. Wait, in a did that happen? Mate, mate, no, I didn't. Yes, you did. Oh, no, wait. Oh, you talking about when you No, I his... didn't. In a forest? Who? We're going to bleep the name. Who? Wait, you did. Who? Who? I swear it was with like someone. No, not in a forest. Mate, you told me before that you've had a sp- No, <laughs> so this guy, this guy. Yeah, I swear to God, stop. I swear you have. No, I haven't. What was that? No, I what? haven't. It's actually a Twitch. <laughs> no, that was actually a Twitch. Yeah, I talk to you online. No, it actually was. Mate, I know it's vulgar. I know it's vulgar. It's just... Okay, okay, right. I, I just, I, I you admit, have. mate. I'd fucking admit it, wouldn't I? You, I Think about it. In the forest. I would admit. I'd be like, yeah, I fucking. Do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, but I, I you've didn't. definitely done an Eiffel Tower. What's that? Same as what this is? Where you like? I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that sign. <laughs> Anyways, you got a photo up a minute ago, just before we restarted filming, and you said, "Oh no, we're gonna save it for the pod." Yeah, actually, we is need it? Some, is we it need, gonna... I think we need an intervention, don't we? What is yeah, it? Well, it's what just... do you mean intervention? No, what do you mean? <laughs> no, no, it's so well. It... Oh fuck! I'm no, getting done. We that. we had a chat. I don't know when was it. Was it at the beginning of this season oh, about yeah. you on OnlyFans, and you're like. Fuck off, like, I've only ever signed up to one person. A year no, ago. I didn't say <laughs> I've never one. done this I'm since. not going to lie. What, brother? We are getting a lot of emails talking about your, like... Mate, you must have been doing your ass on this a month because... Oh, wait, what? No, you know, like, spending loads of money because, right, this is... In, <laughs> in the last, like, three days, I think this is how many expirations we've had. Wait, what's an expiration? So, like, he was paying monthly and now all of a sudden... No, now, no. He's, now he's cancelled. No. Now he's like, like, going. All I think is his card has expired and so he can't afford it anymore or something. We've all been so there. we've got one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight... <laughs> 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, In three days. 22. Right, okay. we get, more? We get, okay. We get the image. Look, Joe. 20, yep. 23? Here's where the intervention comes, Joe, because obviously you were doing this whole... You know, whatever no sex thing you were doing for a while, and like all about the mental strength <laughs> and fortitude of it. No, so not I, it sounds to me like you. It sounds to me like you've relapsed. Okay, right. Well, you've relapsed. Twenty-two <laughs> pages you go right. on OnlyFans in three days. That's over seven a day. Right. Let's. And I know he likes the paid for content as well because he was. Let's fucking wind up naked. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna be fucking real here. Yeah. Firstly, what's the key word in all of those emails? Expired. Yeah, but it's they've a- all expired, right? So I don't get twenty-two I- going at once. I didn't renew, right? I didn't renew. And secondly, right? That's fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I no, had a problem it- at one point. It's, it's only because the recurring payments have failed. Because if you like change your card details or something, you just haven't updated Wait, it. Does it? Does it automatically? It doesn't renew automatically. Oh, mate. It's m- month. No. Mate, you you've would, been... At you wouldn't pay for a month and that's it. Mate, you, no, but you're not paying for a month. You're paying 22 individuals. No. For a month. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. We well, clearly I are. wasn't. No, 22 mate, accounts it, have it, been expired. It says, oh, unfortunately, your subscription to into, nah, this no. individual has expired as the yeah, recurring payment yeah, has I, failed. Yeah, I, mate, it's because I stopped... I've, no, I fucking ended it. Wait, mate, <laughs> mate no, on a, le- wait, on a level, I didn't realise... You, I didn't know how bad your problem mate, was. Mate, I didn't have a problem. <laughs> oh, God! You, tw- <laughs> 22. I, 22 I, accounts. Look. That's a well, lot. You're a twat. Listen, <laughs> I literally... Um, since like my sort of epiphany, I, I actually have a bit of a phobia of, uh, <laughs> phobia. <laughs> right. I, have a, I have a phobia of like just watching that content. Are you, so not, here's it's what not I, me, here's mate. Here's how I imagine it is. I, the reason why they've expired is because you're, you're too scared of going on that website to change your payment details that you think that if I go on that website, I'm going to get sucked into the, the the loophole again. I'm not scared, mate. I'm not. I'm strong man, right? <laughs> I'm strong man. <laughs> I literally. I'm strong man. <laughs> I I've ended that. Do you remember when we had the convo on here and I was like, right, when Weller gets goes down that rabbit hole of pornography, that's like the beginning of him going off the rails, right? 
And while I've got my life in order, like that, I I save, like it just fucks your head, mate. So I don't do it. And I've said it repeatedly. That's why it's all expired. You can tell your jokes, but at the end of the day, it's expired. And I think we need to look at the progress that's actually happened here but, of that I've learned <clears throat> how to actually live without that and conquer it. Without 22 accounts on OnlyFans. But to be fair, <laughs> like, if, it's, if, it's, if, my, if it expired this month, then that means it was still going last month. No, <laughs> he liked no, us. no. My my card. It must. I I thought you pay for a month at a time. I didn't realize it was recurring. Uh, when did you sign up? Wait. <laughs> I, how long, how long I this card that card expired February. So it's just it's, <laughs> this month. Yeah. So it's just expired. So that's obviously the problem. How much Otherwise money that, was coming out of no, your no, account? No, 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 no. They're Wait, all free. No, mate, they're all free OnlyFans. You know, like, it was free. No, so why not? Have to be a no, yeah, yeah, I yeah. could see one of them didn't get paid because she increased her price from, like, ten ninety nine to fifteen no. ninety nine. <laughs> Wait, mate. No, no, no. Just, no, no guys, this is actually... Like, Let's this, take an average of no, twelve no, ninety nine. No, I did not do this. <laughs> Times 20. Nah, look, at the end of the day, like, I've... 290 quid a month. You were spending no, 300 quid a month no, on OnlyFans minimum, plus the tips you would spend privately. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Oh, my day. No, I didn't. Mate, it's free on Pornhub. No, it is actually free. Look, you are acting like it's a the power thing, fucking isn't it? dickhead, mate. <laughs> I have not done Look, this. At the end of the day, mate, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just service. Shut it's the, the fuck ser- no, it's the service for the public to use. You're supporting yeah. people. You're helping them li- make a wage. Right. You're doing. You're you're helping the economy. Right. So you've been away <laughs> with the side men this week. How was it? <laughs> You come back with a fucking attitude. <laughs> <laughs> right, how was your holiday? Was I it good? Class was you in a private jet? Why did you not take any photos on there? I did. Did you not see my Instagram? Didn't see you no. on there. Now, are you lot wanting some lovely, delicious food that's not only clean, pure, but stunningly gorgeous? Oh, yeah, talk to me. I am as well, Malvai. Oh. And our friends at HelloFresh are sorting all of us out. Now, what they do is they provide you with a lovely box of all the ingredients and recipes to create this master, lovely content. Right? <laughs> that's delicious. Um, and it can range from sort of cheat meal style stuff that's just yummy to more clean gains. You've got like the 20 minute easy ones or you've got like the longer, more high end ones. You know, I absolutely love it. I fell in love with HelloFresh over lockdown. It's got me into cooking. You feel like a gourmet chef. That's the thing. It makes you a good cook because they're well simple to follow. Mate, the exactly. recipes are so easy. I know. So I've, easy. I've done it myself. No. And I'm dodgy. But yeah, my mum does it mostly. But yeah, I love it. Anyways, for you guys, they are giving you 50% off your first box and 35% off your next three boxes with the code Wafflin. Wow. That is phenomenal. So uh, yeah, that is Wafflin. Just Wafflin. They've said, please state that. Wafflin. <laughs> so yeah, just get yours. Link is in the description. Enjoy your lovely masterpieces. On with the show. No, no, no. You didn't take any photos of you on a private jet. Like, whoa. I've got them all on my phone. No, but what? No, but normally you post about that stuff. Why did you not post? I was a little bit scared, if I'm being honest. Did, what, from people giving you hate? No, the bit of turbulence. You know how, like... Oh, <laughs> well, this is fucking bullshit. <laughs> You're miraculously scared now no, that you're in a private jet. You, I was, I was, I tried, I'm going to tell you what your thought pattern was. I reckon it was like, right, I don't want to look like I'm living off them. or, or <laughs> I paid for it myself. Did you? Didn't. Yeah. No, you didn't. You paid per person. How much was it? I think they gave me a little discounted rent. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, think, I know what it is. Like, I've no, been, it is do people lot. give you hate? But so you're going to be red. Do people give you hate? Like the Waffle <laughs> Mafia, like, oh, you're a traitor. You're this, that, or whatever. Traitor? Because like, I, I've seen some things that they say. So I'm wondering whether you've <laughs> gone, oh, yeah, it. I'm not going to post because I don't want to come across and get any hate. I was like, saving it for a carousel Instagram post, sure? which I already posted. Yeah? Already? Did you not like it? I didn't see it. Yeah, he has done a picture, but none on the jet. Yeah, none like, on the jet. I was like, oh, you were telling, you were gassing up the jet to us, and I was well, like, I can't wait to see the jet, and he hasn't put it anywhere. I posted me outside a private jet. I think that's quite sick. Yeah, but, yeah, but quite I quite rare I, to do. I, I could see, do that. We've all seen it. You want to see the inside? Google the images. I'm outside, but I see. I want to see the inside. Well, we didn't want to go OTT on the private jet. So I wanted. We, we, is it is it that like around those guys like you don't want to look like a fan? Like, oh look, you're showing off that you're a 
As in, they might be thinking, oh, what's this cringy idiot doing? What, what is this attack coming from? I was saying attack, I was just asking a question. I feel like you're rattled from the OnlyFans How thing. am I rattled? <laughs> you are sounding a little bit rattled. What, by asking a very fair no, question just, about a private jet? I wanted to post an Instagram. And you're going rattled and sort of red <laughs> and sort of like <laughs> you are trying to get angry at me. You're, you're trying to be like, me. how can I get you're Joe? Being. How can I get Joe rattled? Because I don't know how to answer. Let's take it outside then. <laughs> so come on, how was it? <laughs> it was sick. I just didn't want to go OTT on the Instagram post because I wanted to leave room for the actual ski. Was that post. your first time on one? Second. How was how was it? it? Was, it mate, is is that, it different to like a, a goes, charter one that us working class go on? <laughs> <laughs> God, I, I always get easy jet, man. Humble myself. <laughs> it's mad though. You rock up like twenty minutes before and you just get on. Do you? Could you, do you reckon you could you smuggle, smuggle anything on? Like, oh, in, anything you want. What? Well, so you? They don't search you. Really? Anything you want. Wow. So when you go on your little DJ tour. Yeah. Why are you asking this information about the smuggling aspect? Mm -hmm. No reason. Because didn't I was watching the Epstein documentary? <laughs> what are you planning on doing? <laughs> no, no, that was... smuggling girls. Or yeah, something. that's what I'm saying. Like, can so you just you... smuggle anything on there? <laughs> why you... Does law just not count? Because technically, you, once you're in the air, is <laughs> there law in the air? Yeah. Obviously. I reckon there's so much shit that goes down on private jets. Of course there is. If you're paying how much for a private jet, say you're like a multi, like Jeff Bezos or whatever, you've got your own jet, who you, who you employ your own workers. Yeah, yeah, he'd have like pilots. his own private pilot. Do you know what I mean? They're not going to be like, no, you can't take that on, Jeff. Are they? No, and this is the you thing. Can take anything. Money is power. Because I was going to say, like going back to the Epstein documentary, like surely that scares the shit out of you. Like Because there are certain things that you see in like movies, right? Which yeah. you think, oh, that's just Hollywood. Like that can't be real. No, and then, no. like, you hear his stories, like, mm. like that geezer. And Mate. he's got, like, actually people being trafficked around the world to his, like, little sex island. Yeah. Mate, I think that would be a sick vid, like, exploring Jeffrey Epstein's <laughs> pedo island. Oh, Oi, could that like, be a thing? Just a well of it. Like, isn't it closed off? Yeah, we'll like, find a way. Maybe. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, we'd probably get murked, wouldn't oh, we? Oh, they've definitely but got, if like, there was a way, that would be sick. I imagine that as a vid. That would be fucked well, up. Because I bet the energy there is fucked up. Like dodgy. No, I wouldn't want to. I don't think I'd want to go. The amount of lives that have been ruined on that place. Yeah, in it. And speaking of which, obviously, like Prince Andrew, what? So he gets to pay off. So he didn't. He allegedly doesn't know the girl. That's obviously saying he did what he did. But he's paying her twelve mil. That's what I said to well, you. Didn't do I, that I said, then. I said, surely <coughs> if you settle, that you're basically saying to the world guilty. that you're guilty. Now here's what here's what I said just to play devil's advocate. I Here mean, we go. The pedo supporter. Yeah. <laughs> like I mean, the guy's guilty. Let's be honest. Yeah. yeah. But. Playing devil's advocate, if you had the money, right, and someone was spewing all this slander about you, you know, they were they were saying all these things, and you're like, well, that's not true, that's bullshit, this is like ruining my reputation, my life, and you had the opportunity to pay twelve million pounds to make it go away. It's not going to go away. Well, no, technically, it's not going to go away, but the 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 law the, aspect goes. Yeah, away. the the litigation is is going away. He's well, not going to. He's not gonna. Yeah, was Ronaldo a rapist? There, there, there are. There were, there, there well, were accusations. There were accusations, and I think they settled in court. Shut up. Yeah, man. Mate, I, I, I don't think that should be an option. Where you, oh, it's difficult because yeah, you're paying off the person that's cross, uh, that's uh, gone to the police. That's what's it called? The victim. When, when you go ahead with press charges, the person yeah. that's pressing charges, you pay them off to, and then instantly, even though, uh, why does that mean that then it's not? getting followed up with like you have to press charges but they have to accept your settlement offer yeah i know but that why oh, i it's think just, it's, just... it's so peak that that's even an option yeah i get what you mean though. but i suppose like if she if her point of view she's probably like get him in jail or give me 12 mil like she's probably thinking oh give me 12 mil the damage is already done mm, but undo mm. what's done yeah but like, then is there not that sort of like Oh, and I don't want to like offend anyone here because I I'm appreciate be they're probably in a well hard position, but like, does that not just like undermine the whole thing? Make well, yeah, I think I think like... if well, it's it's difficult because yeah, twelve mil is twelve mil, son. Right, it's very difficult to turn down. But I guess the ultimate thing is like, are you now saying the thing that you're trying to campaign for? You're saying it just has a price, and is it? Yeah, is, exactly. it, is it that you could see you from, now? They could also feel pressured. They could feel like. I'm telling the truth, but I don't see any way I can fight this battle. Oh, oh, you could be financially like beaten. Like I a lot of people can't afford top the top lawyers. I think everyone in the sorry. world believed this 
this woman. I don't think there were there was many people that, that thought <sighs> yeah. it was like like not not a legitimate claim. Yeah, well, yeah. It's like when you have when you look at that documentary and you see all of the stories, of, and these are all from people that like are from different walks of life saying, and uh, um, how basically Epstein would go about violating these females. It was all in the pretty much the same way. Start with a massage. And then comment oh. on how they look and this and the other. Turn over, he's got his knob out, and now it's like you know. Did and they were all just sort of like the same thing. And um, I find it all a bit mental. Did you see one of his? Um, who was it, one of his friends or one of his employees who was also in jail for it has just been murdered? Yeah, well, no, no, no. He, he was found dead, hanged in his cell. So I assume it's going to be what, like suicide. The same, what the same as Epstein was just the same thing again. Kill them all, killing them all off, mate. Mate, it, and obviously I, I only watched it. I only got... Okay, this is fucked up. This is actually dodgy. Because I've just... I only got to a certain... And this had... No, no, no. no. This had <laughs> nothing to do with the documentary. But you know, like, when you're watching Netflix with with your uh, lady, and sometimes it can... You end up, like, not watching the film and other things. It just... <laughs> Not, is it? not during the Epps. Okay. <laughs> it was. Just I, just remember, thing, I just remember that was just on in the background. You be watching any documentary, anything in the world, just not the Epps <laughs> No, wait, I know that's fucked, but that was just all, on in the background. And it's sort of like, we ended up just like, yeah, like, not I didn't really finish watching. it. You yeah, watching? yeah, yeah. So obviously I only got up to a certain point. Be like, do you want to give me a massage? <laughs> no, no. But anyways, right. <laughs> were there some names of people, famous people that went to this island that were actually like, Oh yeah, like, like um, who? Who? Um, some names? Uh, Donald Trump. Yeah, Donald, Donald Trump, Trump went. And the other book. And the other uh, Kennedy. Yeah. Oh, James. Kennedy James. was a Kennedy was a fucking regular. Fuck it. Was it Kennedy? So that was no. nonsense. No, Kennedy would have been too young. Yeah, I think who was it? There was um, one of the Clinton. Clinton. Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton. Bill, Clint, Bill, Bill Clinton. No, and this, and this is the thing, like, and then then also to to the point where like people are, I mean, it's not confirmed, but like people are being assassinated. I didn't even think that was the real thing. Like we got well, people ma- that go around like. Pe- Wait, look at the Salisbury murders. What? The fucking yeah. Russians did assassinated them in England yeah, on a you, park bench. Do you remember that? Do yeah, you I remember, remember people just start getting mugged, wasn't it? What was poison? It? Poison. Yeah, the novi chop. You do man. think like, how the hell does that still happen? Like there are actual like Wait, espionage uh, spies in the world. Still. Yeah, like what you see in movies is just happening. Well, like James mean, Bond and shit. Yeah, yeah but it's just mental. Mate, I remember even to a low level. You know one of our mates who's like SAS undercover cop, dad, his dad. Yeah. Yeah. I remember just going to, um, I hope there's not too much info, but I remember going to like Pea's Potted Services. Yeah. And I go, oh. Oh yeah, I was with you. I call him, call him Roger. Oh, Roger. And he just looks at me like this. <laughs> <laughs> what? He's like and he, he was chatting mission. to someone, like obviously on a mission. I'm like, oh, Roger. Roger, Roger, it's me. Leo, Roger. <laughs> and he just looks at me like, Fuck off. And I, yeah, he was like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, no, Roger, wrong, wrong, yeah. wrong person. And it was just like, he just, he, I don't know, it was just like weird. Wow, so yeah, the SAS missions are happening just like, and all that stuff is happening all around us. Like, we have no idea how in-depth it is, how everyone you meet, like someone may be just playing like the corner shop boss man and secretly he's a spy. I mean, how, many, I mean? how many bomb threats and stuff happen a year that we don't know about and that has actually saved... Uh, yeah, like being like stopped. Yeah, yeah, being yeah, stopped. Yeah. But then does that like make you worry? Like, are we being watched? Well, yeah, are we being oh, watched wait, right now? You know the whole like, oh, I'm going to cover my laptop screen. No, that, that just makes me think people are a paedophile. No, I'm just like, what? at the end of the day, no, oh, but yeah. at the end of the day, mate, like, what's going to happen? Like someone's, all right, someone's sitting in a in a thing, like watching you have a wank. Like, yeah, like can't that. Do, like, like, they can't do anything with that information. Who cares? Unless you are actually watching dodgy porn, like, why do you, I, don't, I, I understand. Yeah, it like, like the, when when you see obviously the thing with Twitter accounts like being oh it should be that your identif- identification is like associated with your Twitter account. There are people like no, I want to maintain an an anonymous an anonymity anonymity Yeah, right. I want to maintain that. I don't want the interweb to have all my details. Um, why? Why? Well, you know the. Why, whole, they, they, why, why, why go why? on there then? Yeah, it's sort no, of like, because like you have some, for some people, remaining anonymous it keeps them alive. For yeah. example, did you watch the? Um, fuck. Yeah, but, yeah, but if that documentary from. Yeah, but not like some fucking idiot. Is it? He's got like an egg as his Twitter. Mate, profile no, government like, was farming a cat. They had people in 
in the government headquarters farming hate towards these guys to pile, to stop them like trying to rise up. Who's these guys? I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> it's like a, it's, it's either guitar or someone like that. It's uh, did you never watch the documentary? Um, ah, I oh. it's a really really famous documentary. Uh, super famous and like the I think it's I think it's Qatar or Dubai the prince's like daughter in law or the one of the the wife escaped and now they're back and they haven't been seen since. Oh, there was something to do with that in Dubai. I swear. There's also there's just basically there's just all sorts going on like conspiracy bollocks. It's all just terrifying. But is it terrifying? Oh, it's, it actually fucking gasses me up. And that's why I believe in spirits. <laughs> you know oh, that? Well, shit. What? The dissident. It's called the dissident. The dissident. Does anyone know about the dissident? Yeah, you should. Yeah, you, wait, you wait. need to watch it. Here we've got Luke, who's red hot on his spirit talk. Everyone's gassed to hear us talk about that again. Yeah, because. Okay, it must be important. Go. Speaking of which, I still haven't had that lady predict my future. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, By the way, my friend Lawrence has lost 55 kg. 50? What's he look like now? We've been living, we've been doing the same thing, right? Wait, no, hang on, hang on. He's lost 55 kilos Wait, so that's far. That's a human, he's lost a human. Yeah. That's an actual human. Mate, it's mad. Like, Wait, you, he's he's part of my, my vid. Like when So I, that's like eight stone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, obviously what I want is like, it's cool, like, I know this is just off topic, but the, the thing that I'm doing with my transformation and whatnot, I don't want it to just be me that's following it. I've had, obviously my mum and stepdad <coughs> are doing it and Lawrence has been doing it with me and they're going to be like case studies that honour uh, some about. different just, types of people. 55 kg. 55 fucking kg, mate. It's mental. It's sick. I'm just, 55. That's where it's not about just like being all the athletic or whatever. Like I'll, I'll do that role. He's, he's literally a guy that's really obese and fucking got his shit together. And it's like... I really want to see them before and after. Mate, it's mad. It's can mad. we see them like off camera? Yeah, you can see them. 55. Mate, that's a human. Yeah. Yeah, shout out. Mental. Lawrence, she lost a whole human. Yeah. Are you lot? Our friends at Coinbase have a lovely message for you. They are offering... 10 euro in free Bitcoin to you guys if you sign up with coinbase.com slash waffling. Yeah, there is no strings attached. Now, if you are a bit confused about crypto and don't really know like what is going on with it, this is a great platform to get you involved, right? Luke loves it. Go on, son. Well, I think we've always said it's, it's quite a confusing thing to get into. Yeah, it is. But for someone that is just getting into it, you want an easy to use platform and someone that's reliable. Exactly. So... Literally, guys, this could not be easier, right? Available in over 100 countries, they say. Mobile app. It's all in one place. You can learn all you need to at coinbase.com. So to claim this limited time offer, right, of 10 euro in free Bitcoin, when you sign up today, go to coinbase.com slash waffling, right? That is coinbase.com slash waffling. Okay? And reiterate, free money. There you go. Enjoy yourselves. Anyways, back on with this show. Anyways, Rob, what are you saying? Obviously, we've got the alpha, the beta. I won't say it. The sigma. We heard of the but. yogurt male. What? Sorry, what? The yogurt male. Could be that. What's that? The yogurt. So I heard about this recently. The yogurt male is like above a sigma. <laughs> Fuck off. They're the type of. Oh, yeah, okay. They're the, type, wait, they're the type of person <laughs> that will just happily eat a yogurt. And go for long walks on the beach and just not give a fuck. Okay, so in your in your oven. <laughs> wait, wait, listen, listen. Have you listen. made that up right no, there? Google yogurt mail as an actual thing. Wait, wait, wait. So in your other group, so that is how it obviously works in this group, right? In your other group, are you an alpha in that group or are you also the beta? I don't really care what I am. No one asked whether you cared. What do you reckon? I don't know. I'm a yogurt male. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I just like to know, like, do you do you get like shit from them or do they like respect you as like the alpha? I don't know. I don't. I don't think you guys. Do you guys actually see me as just like this weak little human? No, I don't. I don't. Nothing. No, just, no, no. We just, we just, just for the content, mate. We just, we just, it's, we, it's just the roles we all play for waffling. No, yeah, I'm just out here oh, trying to bring joy posture. and laugh to the world. Yeah, you know. I'm, just, I'm trying to see. I'm if just you getting feel, shit on. No, I'm just asking if you feel respected by your friends or whether they use you for views. I feel respected by everyone. Okay. Well, that's someone at the door. Wait, Ruth, could you get that, please? Right, yeah, go on. So what is this? I feel like the, she's not. Okay, let me read it out then. So basically, here we've got the theta male. Oh. <laughs> theta, a male. I think it's theta. 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 Yeah, I thought it was Ready? theta male. Ready? A male who is a mystic and spiritual. No, no. <laughs> um, it does say that. And an as ascetic, not aesthetic, 
Ascetic? What does that mean? Ascetic. A male who is dedicated to fully embodying a disciplined and purifying spiritual lifestyle. <sighs> Embodies only the deepest modes of mystique ev evidenced in the multi-dimensional Zeta male, but without the Zeta's ability to shift modes, such as rebellion mode, due to permanently dedicated... To the status of being a monk. Oh, mate, what's this going <laughs> It went off a bit of a tangent, yeah. but I, we got sent it. Yeah. And I thought, the guy said, maybe Joe's not an alpha. Yeah. He's a beta. So, what, so I can't really figure out what it actually means. So, so they, they made fun of his act, but like a true theta male, there was zero trace of any discouragement or anything reactive at all to be found in his demeanor as he withdrew from the scene. Well, this is the issue. I react. Yeah, I, was I react. Like, like I didn't it. read that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that guy goes. Oh, I literally. I mean, part of me, like, I, like, I, you guys shit on my ideas and anything like that. No, no, no. We don't, I, we, no, we don't. We show. talk about the thumbnails. <laughs> Go on. You know that, mate. I'm not. I can't wait. We have to. Go on. We have to. You know the. You know the Spider-Man meme when they're like. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, you know what it is. So the thumbnails that I made last week, it was originally I didn't like your either your expressions or mine. I just didn't think it captured as good as it could be. So that's what I wanted to do. At first, I tried just doing it just like just me and Hasbulla. But obviously, I do agree that it looked better that in the layout of the other one. It just. Yeah, I just feel like... You wanted better facial expressions. I wanted better facial expressions, and I think slightly positioning, but very slight. It was just... It was just... It was just very funny. Well, if you didn't understand... No, no, I'm it was just very funny, because funny. if you compared Tom's original one to your new one, it's just like... <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, it's just crack-ups, wasn't it? Anyways. Just crack <laughs> and we spread the hustle, though. Not a theta. React. I did just read what a zeta male was. What is it? A Zeta male refers to a fourth social hierarchy position amongst males. So you've got alpha at the top, beta, omega, and then the rest. A Zeta male consciously rejects a traditional social position. Oh, it just doesn't want to be anything. Yeah. I mean, that's you. Yeah, because you... Yeah, but 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 is that just a cop out for like I'm a beta? And, oh, I don't believe in. That. Oh yeah, 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 but yeah. it's not me though, because as it is based on how they are valued by women. <laughs> <coughs> Definitely not you. Highly, very very highly. We didn't touch on the Bible last week, and I think it's right that we. Wrap oh yeah, the show. to be fair, we've got a huge Bible segment to make up on. So Theo, quickly grab your all important how to get a girlfriend Bible that oh, you got me for way, Christmas. By the way. I saw, someone sent a tweet or a DM on Instagram saying, "Just bought this book, absolutely loving someone it." Someone bought it. We should get commission. We, for should, that. we should get commission. Matt what Damon, we do say we is, need commission. Matt Damon. Matt, not, not who wrote it. Matt Damon. Right, right. Here we go. The book chooses where it opens, and what has it landed on, Malfoy? Go on. Terrible. <laughs> the title is Money. Money. Girls like to be treated like pets. Oh, well, that's not. A who great doesn't want to? <laughs> Dog, no. Right here, Matt. I think you're going down a rabbit hole. So, like, kick them out in the garden when they piss you off or something. Because who starts a sentence with "girls like to be treated like pets"? Who doesn't want to be? <laughs> right. When you have a lot of money, girls can only imagine what they can do with it. If money is the only thing you have, you can be sure you won't have problem getting girls. Oh, mate, this is. And I think, mate, awful. if you're, if it's you're, a fair point. No, no. Wait, uh, yeah, if, okay, girls, uh, you will be, okay. No matter caliber how strange of girl, you are. Caliber of human being is, is the thing in question, but there will be, you will, I guess he's saying you will always be able to get at least a female yeah. if you've got loads of money, which I guess is yeah, a fair yeah, I'm point. Not, I'm not saying 100% of females will be interested. doesn't matter whether you're a geek or an introvert. <laughs> a geek or an introvert. But imagine that's like, because you see those like horrible looking like people that just uh, clearly have loads of money and just uh, almost purchase girls the amount of like sugar daddies i saw at that burj al arab place was what, in dubai yeah like this was a seven star hotel oh and it was it, it was just like uncomfortable well, I, just, I don't i don't think i want to go to dubai you know no I no i think it's a sick go. place no i know it's a sick place but i think the vibes i'd pick up from there in terms of seeing all that i think that'd actually make me feel shit yeah, like, well, in, just don't like, stay at that hotel no but I, surely it's all around dubai mate it's all about man-made money like 
all that hierarchy due to money. I don't know. It's, it's not a. I'd, I'd just prefer to go somewhere like like Norway, like somewhere where it's fucking about no, nature. Norway, or, or somewhere hot, the hot version of Norway. You know, somewhere like that, <laughs> like somewhere where it's pure and fucking real. I'll tell you what, some of, sorry, before we go back to the speaking of the Norway beautifulness, some of the views in skiing were. Yeah, I so I had the best morning skin I've ever had in my entire life. It was like the sun was poking through the clouds. It was empty. It was just like actual dreamland. Do you ever put headphones in and listen to music? Because I can imagine listening to certain tunes going down there must be amazing. So I've always been against it. Why? Because I I go at quite fast speeds. So I need to be fully aware and listen to my surroundings. But I thought to myself, you know what? I'll whack one in. Just see if I can catch some vibes. And it was beautiful. It was absolutely stunning. I absolutely loved it. I would, I will normally go no headphones, but I whacked one in and I, fuck me, it was amazing. Lovely. Yes. But anyways, a nice high-end car will get you a lot of attention. Fuck off. Wearing gold or high-end shoes. Mate, this is... Watches will get you a lot of attention. However, if someone is attracted to you because of your bling, that is probably because they are attracted to that and not... Yeah. <laughs> Mate, I actually learn English. <laughs> if you are rich, you can easily get laid. Well, that's true because you could just pay for it. Very true. Okay, but without paying for it, I, I still think I still think it's it's easy. Have we got case studies or any YouTubers that just can't can't but really want to. Well, get laid. Mm. No, but wasn't there? Wasn't there? No, no, but wasn't there actually like? Wait, isn't it? It's a well. Wait. Is it a well known fact that KSI lost his virginity to a prostitute? <laughs> Wait, is what? it? Did I he? Thought, I thought that was a well known fact. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, I'll, I'll bleep this. this. Might, this might, I thought you were. It's it like just like bleep that. But isn't he just like does does he? I swear he doesn't. I think he's, he's more got, focused on his career. No, but he's no, but I swear there was a point where he just he really wanted to. Back in the, it was probably before you guys were friends, and like when I was friends with them, <laughs> probably like back, back then. Was it like I remember? I remember there was a period. No, yes, yes. Is it still a thing? <laughs> I think so. Right. Definitely bleep that name. Tom. Yes. Um. <laughs> The only thing is, don't expect to get anything more from these girls other than... What my heart? Oh, this well, guy can't what read. He's trying to but do, do not expect to get something more than meaningful sex from these girls. Yeah, because basically, what are you going to get? You're going to get girls, but it's going to be for the wrong reasons because they're attracted to what you have rather than you. And that will actually never fulfill you because you're literally... If that, oh, I know, I know a guy that comes to mind that we know. Who? They said they're Bleak probably... Bleak this name. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Classic case. Classic. Probably actually, gold diggers or prostitutes, he says. Yeah, but the thing is, is that that individual actually has someone that that does love oh, him. Oh, but still cheats. Yeah, because they're not fulfilled. Oh God, it's actually such a fucking mental thing. Um, but do, how come you don't see a lot of it the other way round, or do you? And you just don't know. Uh, because I think in general females are smarter than males. It's true, isn't it? Males are powered by their fucking knobs. Yeah, and girls are actually more intelligent. Uh, yeah, I'm noticing this. And they're amazing, especially my one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, I, I'm, I'm back at, back right with you there. <laughs> been reading, you I've been reading, bastard. Been reading, <laughs> been reading this book that's lost a brain cell. No, I've literally always like... Do you love just looking into yours eyes? Yeah, but she's always like, every time I think I'm right, what? I'm just not right. Well, like, she's get, right. Yeah, no, but as in like, I'm right. actually, no, as in like, half the time, like, you know when you think you're like, oh, I'm correct on this one. Malfoy never wears the trousers. No, but Wait, as in like, with us, yeah, but with us, whenever there's a point that, that's against your beliefs, you, you never admit that you're wrong. No, for example, directions. I'll be like, no, it's this way. I swear to God. Well, like, you just get some Google Maps. <laughs> no, like, I've, actually got an, I've actually got an issue recently. Like, I always thought I was good at directions. I'm actual like a proper, like, not oh. good at directions person. It is ba- it's getting really bad. But anyway, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> the good... Uh, of course, money is going to help you to ask these girls out. And sadly, money is not going to shield you from rejection. You still have to learn how to do it the right way to avoid unnecessary rejections, which you'll see in part two of this book. Let me reiterate, money will get you laid. So, but so, it won't prevent rejection. See, this is the thing. I used to think all I wanted was to just have sex. Mate, yeah, I don't but know, that I is such a futile. What's, what is futile? No, mean? it's naive. Uh, no, no, it's like it's ne- it will never feel, fulfill you, mate. It was just okay. a never-ending thing. It's like eat the McDonald's cheeseburger. Oh, you want another one? Another one? You're never like as in like uh, basically, it will never actually help you to reach true happiness if you're looking for that fulfilled feeling in just fucking around everyone. Yeah, it might build a bit of confidence. Oh, I can do this. Oh, I can 
managed to get with a girl or whatever and, and stuff like that. But honestly, that that real connection is actually what will give you that true feeling of greatness. Well, you, you have that first sexual attraction by what you see of the person in front of you, oh, but you then electric, build mate. to become best oh. friends and partners in life. You know, she came over to me. She said hello to me first. That's quite, it's really ballsy what she did. What, what did she go like, hi, can I have a picture? No. <laughs> You're no, oh, you're a fan. Are you oh, back to on. mine? Take the piss out of me being famous. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, have you done this before? Jim? No, but no. to be honest, I am. I am actually like excited for you because you. Yeah, can come well, on, like doink. <laughs> I wanted that to just ping off your head. That thing would look. Mate, I just funny. caught it like that. That was quite good. I was actually fucking sick left hand. I am happy for you though because like you can like come and do things with us now. Nah, I'm not gonna do anything with you guys. Why? Because you we haven't never, invited me to meet your girlfriend. We one never, on I one. still haven't met you, her. No, no, you, let us meet one her. One. Just me and her. <laughs> Would you... Okay, so this, this is a bigger test. I'd trust you to sit in a room. I'd entirely trust you. Would you feel comfortable? Uh, the only... The uncomfortable thing is what you're going to, like, ask. Say. Because I know you're quite forward. <laughs> I'm not forward. Yes, you are. Okay, I'm very forward. Yeah. But, but I for, think... Well, I would, of course I'd trust you. Yeah, You're not a dickhead. I'm not a dickhead. No. Exactly. We know people that are dickheads, but when it comes to that, that's not you. Yeah. And that's the thing. And I actually, because I remember, <laughs> remember before, there's been a situation where, like, after, this this was before, like, quite a while ago, I, we, uh, I've, I've be, got with a female before that ended up, it turned out she had a boyfriend. And I remember at the time feeling, like, quite quality about that. Like, oh, she chose me over a boyfriend. Blah, blah, blah. But that is literally a classic example of, like, what, like, it's, where you are actually insecure about yourself and it's almost you're needing reassurance yeah. that you can, oh, look, I can steal someone's girl because you're, you actually aren't happy in yourself. Yeah. And it's like, I don't know, just I've, I've become very aware of thought patterns and what they actually mean. So a lot of lads that are thinking that they're lads with just getting loads of birds and stealing, wanting to steal like lads' girlfriends and stuff, you're actually quite an insecure, like non-settled individual. I think the most attractive <laughs> thing in It's a, like a very articulated yeah. burn. Do you know I think one of the most attractive things in a girl is that when they get on with your friends yeah. and it's like you, you don't have to babysit them. Yeah. Oh, mate, as well, like with family, like in terms yeah, of yeah, yeah. they come around and not feeling like you need to prompt conversation or anything. Like they can go there and just fucking boss the room. Or, like, do you know what I mean? It's that thing. It's, yeah. that, that comp And that comes from when you are like secure in yourself and confident in who you are and you almost have pure intentions and you're after the right things in life rather than you're actually, yeah. Didn't you break up with a girl once because when you went <laughs> you went for dinner and they like ordered like fish fingers and chips? Yeah, but that's when, <laughs> that was when I was like what? fifteen what and she was fourteen. <laughs> yeah, wait, 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 you went out with a fourteen-year-old. <laughs> right, brilliant. brilliant. Yeah, but that was like, she's not mature enough. <laughs> but yeah, I love fish fingers and chips. <laughs> yeah, sure, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's because you ordered for the kids' menu and I was like, pop that egg. No, it just made me feel a bit old. <laughs> you were fifteen, mate. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Look at this immature <laughs> little person. Kids menu, I'm on the adults menu now, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what, as well? Her uncle at that meal apparently just said I just kept stroking my own biceps. <laughs> like, 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 what a twat. What were you just sitting there? Just I was like, just apparently, I was just like... You're probably just sitting there like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's changed. <laughs> you're like oh. 15. Oh. Good old days, boys. Anyways, should we fucking end it there? Yeah, we We're back in a studio, a proper studio. Yeah, well, week. we've managed to hire out a studio in Brighton. Ten points if you can track it down. Um, anyways. Might get a guest on next week, you never know. Could do. You know. Anyways, we hope you've enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like rating. Leave a comment as well about how gorgeous we are. Also, <laughs> rate us on Spotify. And we will see you very soon. Yeah. Oh, I remember the